Hi, this is Omid Rahat, otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon. In this video clip, we're going to see what Zanker diverticulum is and how it can be repaired endoscopically. In this view, our scope is positioned just posterior to the larynx. Therefore, we are viewing the inferior parts of the hypopharynx or actually the beginning of the esophagus. The tip of the suction is actually inserted inside the lumen of the esophagus. Let me freeze the picture for a second. The cavity you can see in the inferior part of the picture is the Zanker's diverticular cavity itself. The wall above it is the anterior wall of the diverticulum and the posterior wall of the esophagus, therefore it's called the septum. It contains the cricopharyngeus muscle. And the lumen above is the esophagus itself. Occasionally food particles can be seen in the diverticulum in this view. In this picture we can see the pulsion type diverticulum originating from the Killian triangle just above the cricopharyngeus muscle. So the scope is uh, positioned at the tip of the septum and using a endoscopic stapler like the one in the picture uh, we will try to grasp the septum. This endoscopic stapler simultaneously cuts the mucosa and the cricopharyngeus muscle and at the same time staples the edges of the mucosa together water tightly. This way we will unify the lumen of the diverticulum to the lumen of the main esophageal tract. One must follow the instructions given by the manufacturers of these staplers to avoid potential leakage. This step of the surgery can alternatively be done using a laser. In some cases, the endoscopic method cannot be done and an external cervical approach is required. At this stage, as you can see, the process of cutting and stapling is completed and we'll have to make sure that the cavities have unified completely and there is no dehiscence in the wall. The procedure can be considered completed as the cavities have unified and the walls are tightly stapled. Patients kept in the hospital overnight and fed with clear fluids. He is discharged the next day and instructed to feed on soft diet. Thank you for watching this video clip and hope to see you in future upcoming video clips.